Greetings and salutations. It is... Please work? Yes, okay. It is Saturday, January 17th. I just got back from seeing the last Hobbit movie. It was pretty fantastic, but... Oh, lordy. Um, we're reporting spam, because that's gold farming. Um, we're going to do Battle for Mount Hyjal, because with 6.1 comes new raids, new pets in old raids, and I haven't done a Hyjal walkthrough yet. So, let's do that. So, my... You need to get to Caverns of Time, um, which is located, hey, how about I, in Tenaris, over, ah, move, over here. Um, there are lots of ways to get there. My preference is to go to Dalaran, and you're going to go into the Violet Citadel, go all the way up to the top, head to the left, and take the portal to Caverns of Time. And then... You can talk to this guy to fly down if you don't know how to fly in Azeroth yet, or you can just book it. And we're going to go down the big spirally thing, and it's so pretty, and there's like planets and an asteroid belt, and it's just lovely. Okay, so Hyjal is a raid that came out in Vanilla? Burning Crusade. Crusade. Burning Crusade, okay. I, I don't know these things. That's why I have a husband. And, uh... Wanna wave and say hi? Um, so... What... Uh, so the level... F ca the uh, level of all the enemies are gonna be level 70 elites. Um, but it's not that hard. I've done it with two people, but you really... As long as you have good AoE, you can do this. You can solo this from what I've been told. So, you're gonna go... Now that they've finally updated the map for Caverns of Time, um to this one here. So we're going to take our second right. So there's the first one. This is the second one. Go to all the trees. And we're going to head in here. Okay, so um, there are different areas you can unlock. Once you finish certain areas, you can kind of skip to other areas. Um, <coughs> and when you get tokens and whatnot, um, you can go here to buy. These are the jewel crafting. The jewel crafting. These are the jewel crafting uh, patterns that were available at the time. And the person you hand your tokens into is over here. He is the keeper of lost artifacts and so on and so forth. So, I own, yeah, I was doing the healing set. You, you, you. You and you. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty sweet. I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. And I don't have all of them. I have the shoulders, I have the pants, and I have the robe, so I just still need the cowl and the gloves. That's kind of what I'm going to be hoping for. But when you start, let's make sure Atlas loot is on the right thing. So we need Burning Crusade and we need Hygel Summit. Okay. Right? That's the right one, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So. We. That was the entrance, so we're going to go through this portal. And so this works kind of like um, the uh, Dark Portal raid or dungeon works. What was that one called? Not Old Hills, Brad, the other one. Uh, that was a different expansion. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Straddle? Stra no, the one where you're the, the portals and all the waves. Oh, that's the uh, black morass. Black that's morass. Silver that is silver interesting. Okay, so um, it goes in waves, so it kind of is a bit time-consuming. But we talk to Jaina, okay, and it starts. So we need to go this way. And yeah, the best thing you can do is just have good AOE. I have found. And they're going to be coming up the hill, if memory serves. Yep, here they are. So we just kill them quickly. And then as soon as they are dead, the next group spawns. So I like to run ahead 
so that it kind of goes a little bit faster. Um, again, I'm doing this level 100, so it's pretty easy, but I two-manned this very easily at level, oh geez, what level would it have been? I don't even remember. Uh, probably 90, maybe even 85. I will loot all of this crap later. Okay, we are on wave six. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, we are on wave seven. This is so much faster if you just kind of run ahead. Wave 8. Now the first one is pretty simple. The second one um, kind of gets broken up and you have to do a few rounds. Okay, and now we have a boss. So this guy, you can see he has 2.4 million health. I doubt he's going to hurt me. He's already at, yeah. So he's pretty easy to kill. Oh, and I got stunned with a nice bolt. Oops. Oh, look at that. He's dead. Okay, so he drops um, no time pieces. He'll drop a quest item. He drops a cool piece, a few cool pieces for transmog, but nothing too exciting. Okay, so what did I get? Tailoring pattern that I already know. Green. I'll loot the cloth. Oh, I don't know this one. I'll take that. Don't care. I'll take the gold. All right. Oh, and I guess the other good news is you can mount in here, which is really nice. So now we go back and we talk to Jaina and we kind of do it all over again. You fight two bosses in each area and then you go to the last boss. It's pretty straightforward. Right, Jaina's over here. So let's talk to her again. Oh, hello. Okay, another wave, exact same thing as before. This raid is really straightforward. And like before, we're just gonna slowly work our way up. We've got banshees in this group. So this is the best way to speed it up, is just to kind of run and AoE them all down very, very quickly. Beautiful. And last wave, and then we'll fight a boss. Okay, we are fighting a Netheron now. I don't see him causing so much problems. Um, again, I can't really tell you how the fights work because I'm going to be killing him way too quickly. Apologies. Alright, so we have gold. I already know that. Don't care about any of that. Ooh, a staff. You are pretty. I am taking you. Cloth. Pretty bitch and hammer. And I don't care too much about maces. Okay. So, now that that's done, we're going to go back and talk to Jaina. And now we're going to go help the Horde, which I'm not a huge fan, fan of, but, you know, goodwill towards all creature kind and all. All right, so Lady Jaina, before you go crazy, till we meet again. So she's gonna teleport everyone further back and we're gonna tally-ho. So we're gonna follow this around. Oh, 
Oh, and there are, if you do this on a character that has mining, there are little nodes everywhere. I'm trying to find one. There's one up there. And it just has an ancient gem vein, and all they drop are the epic gems that you could get throughout Burning Crusade. Um, so if that is something you are interested in, if you want to try and sell them or what have you, that is the way to do it. I'm not even buffed. That's a little embarrassing. So just follow the path around and we're going to end up in the Horde encampment and we're going to fight two bosses there. Same idea, still wave based. Um, one involves the same style as before, the other involves kind of having to go back and forth because there are bat things that come from the air and you have to kill them as well. And there's some big guys as well. The second batch is, is, is where it's really handy to have two people, um, but you definitely can solo it. I don't see why not. They, everyone just dies so quickly. Oh, I see the spiky fences. I think we are nearing Horde territory. Yep, and everything's red. We're in the Horde territory. So now we have to find Thrall. If memory serves. Yep, there he is. He's just chilling. Sup, Thrall? War Chief? How's it going? Yeah, sure. I'm with you. Totes. Alright. The enemies come. I don't remember from where. I think they come from over here. I think. I think, I think, I think. Yep. Called it. Okay, good. So, same deal as before for this one. They tell you what's coming too, so you know if it's guys that can fly or guys that cannot. Okay, wave two. Let's run down the path a little. Oh, and gargoyles. Okay. So the gargoyles are back here, which is where it's handy to be able to run. And again, this is why it's handy to have two people. You can have someone doing, someone on gargoyle duty and someone on ghoul duty. So these guys tend to group up as well. So you can just AOE them down, kind of. Apparently they get killed instantly by a shadow word pain, so that's something. Alright. Okay, these are guys are all over there. Back we run. A lot of running that you have to do if you're soloing this, so that can get a little tedious. So this fight's gonna take longer. But here they come, and we're still back in time before they devour everything we hold dear. Okay, and we have gargoyles. Well, let the these guys deal with the guys over here, and I'm gonna go kill some gargoyles. Six. So they, as far as I know, they always come to the same place. They come right from the sky, and they just kind of swerve down in here. And so we just have to wait for them to get close enough. Where's the other one? There you are. Okay. Run, run, run. Oh, scale of sands rep. What's my rep with scale of sands? I don't even know. Oh, they killed all the guys. Uh oh. That is not good. Oh, I am revered with them. Well, let's show it as the experience bar. Maybe I can get too exalted. 
two enemies. Oh, there they are. You, and you. No, that's not it. Oh, there they are. Okay, these guys are all coming this way. gargoyles and frostworm. So these guys are all over here. Okay, the gargoyles are coming from this side now. So I have to keep my eye out for the stupid frostworm. There it is. Okay, there's one more gargoyle. Where are you? Okay, and Frostworm. Come on. Could you move any slower? Frostworm. We can kill these guys first, and by the time we're done killing them, maybe the Frostworm will be more than five million feet in the air. Okay, now I just need to kill the Frostworm. There it is. These are all from over here. Oh, good. I really, really dislike this fight. Okay, new boss. He's dead. Okay, so the last boss and the second the second last boss and the last boss drop the pieces that I need. Go figure. Okay, let's go talk to Thrall again. All oh, the corpses. Thrall. Another one. Okay, six abominations, six necromancers. That doesn't seem too bad. Frostworm and gargoyles. Okay, well, let's kill the ghouls first so I don't have to run around chasing them. I see 
Seat Gargoyles. Frostworm still hasn't shown up yet. On, click. Okay. Four ghouls, eight infernals. Oh, infernals come here, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Alright, there are the ghouls. Something. Oh, there they are. Okay. Can you go, please? Ah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. Okay. Eight fell stalkers, six infernals. I don't remember what fell stalkers are. Stop running into holes. These are the fell stalkers. Okay. Mm, now to kill the giant infernals. Necromancers and Fellstalkers. Oh, these take forever. So many corpses, so little time. Necromancer, six banshees. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Eight infernals. One more wave after this. This is like the time sink, this one right here. These two right here. all things that go over there. Yeah, having two people here is really handy. Okay, that's all right. We're gonna do it anyway. There we go, and the last boss. So he has a chance to drop my gloves, the tokens that I want. And 
and they dropped. Thanks. Oh, that hammer looks cool. That was our kind. Yeah, no, it was Asgalore. Oh, okay. You're not done then. No, I have one more. Okay. Archimon, I think, drops the helm. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that was round two, and that was kind of ridiculous. But that's okay. Ridiculous is fun sometimes. So, let's carry onwards. We'll go talk to Thrall, and he'll run away, like Jaina did. And then we'll have to go deal with the guy. Toodaloo. So now we follow the road. More this way. And we have to talk to Tyrand, the uh, night elf that was apparently raised by trolls if we're to take her accent at face value. Which I still think is hysterical. Oh, I'm following the wrong path. <laughs> I'm following the wrong path. I'm herping and derping all over the place. Here we go. This is the road I want. So, last boss. Archimon, he drops the helm. He drops a bunch of other fancy things for a transmog and yeah. So, assuming your DPS is not the greatest, um, there is an item you will need, which I will make sure to grab to show you. I don't have it on my action bar anymore because I never run this thing. Oh, I only need a couple more runs and I'll have it to Exalted. That's pretty exciting. Yay! How many reps am I sitting at for Exalted now? Let's take a look while we run. I'm at 56. Four more. Whoa! Jeez. Not what I wanted to do. Oops. Okay. So if you're not an idiot, <laughs> like me, and, yep, okay, I got silenced. Okay, so if you're not an idiot like me, um, you will not jump off the edge like a silly person, and, <laughs> wow, fail, okay. So you will follow the path down and around, and Okay, I'm doing that. I'm fully acknowledging that I am doing this backwards. I am sorry. Okay, so I should not have been looking at my reputations. Okay, so you are going to talk to Tyrand. So you'll come around here, around the bend, not fall off, run down here. You'll come up to the lady on the tiger. Her name is Tyrand. She is the head of Darnassus. She is married to Malfurion. And she's going to give you a little speech and you say, hey, you want to give me some help? That'd be great. So she gives you the tears of the goddess, which it's going to slow your falling speed because if you don't kill him fast enough he's going to throw you up into the air and as you're falling you're going to want to use this because otherwise back in Burning Crusade your whole raid would die of fall damage so let's how about I don't be an idiot and we'll follow the path And we'll veer left, and there is Archmond. Demonic Draenei. Cool. Okay. So, he's attacking Mardrasil. Which, if you played anything, if you went to Mount High Jolly Kata, you will recognize the name of that tree. So, well, let's kill him. Do -do -do. I don't think this is going to take very long. Oh look, he's dead. Okay, and then as we fight him, he does a thing, and all these ancient wisps of old start coming around to uh, help us fight him. See them all coming? Ancient wisps. And there's some night elf wisps up there. And he's finger of deathing all of them. get the protection of a loon and he dies yay so he's dead now the real question is did I get my helm yes I did oh it's a sweet looking oh I have one too. in my bank haha <laughs> that's where that helm is from okay cool and that is it shut up you already have it <laughs> yep <laughs> I had the token not the helm but that's okay 
I can sell it for five gold. And that is Battle for Mount Hyjal. That is pretty much it. Um, so I don't know where the pets are going to be are going to be, but I will do a video on that when 6.1 goes live. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found that helpful. I'll tab so I can end the video, and it blacks out so you get to see my face for a bit. I'm sorry. Um, Sunday we're gonna have a vlog, and then Monday we're gonna go back to Ostrich Island because that game has been hysterically horrible. And yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.